Here is not the way of a jet. Oh. Cooking with fatty meat salad. What is up, guys? It is your boy yourself, Fatty here. I am holding a model pod as we are getting ready to put a good new spin on a fairly classic dish of ours here in the Fatty Channel. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna hop into this. So to start things off, here we go. We will be making a brand new gourmet meat f salad. And everything you're about to see is what you're gonna need. So for getting with, you need cheeses, right? So we have Mexican four cheese because hashtag four kids, am I right? Hashtag not a sponsor, hashtag remember the classic days of Pokemon. Next we have three state cheddar because you know it's the best in the tri-state area. And then of course you've got Monterey Jack because well, as we all know, Jack is our best friend, am I right? So again, classic spin, classic dish, new spin. We got peaches for the juice. We picked up some seasoning for this. And we have some good teriyaki. None of that microwave crap. We got that sticky fingers because that's a classic and that is one ingredient that will never change. Then we have freshly diced some steak. We have some chicken tenderloin. And we have some pork chop. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these all up and get to cooking. So to give you a basic overview about what's to happen with the meats. So your pork chop and your steak, you're gonna cook stove top. Your chicken tenderloin is gonna be cooked in the oven. And we're gonna cook it at 400 degrees just till it's cooked. Uh, usually I find it's about a half hour to 45 minutes. Um, though times can vary. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, bake timer. Okay, time. Okay, we're gonna set the timer up. We're gonna bake. We're gonna start at 400. That timer's on, right? Yep, start. Now the next step is to move your pan. Totally safe to do. Hashtag gonna try this at home. And you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna spray some nonstick on it. So, help me, Spider Man! I need the fire! Put her out her web! I'm helping you, Mary Jane! We're about to make some chicken! Now you wanna know what you do with this tent, this tent, this. You know what it is, chicken dinner wine? You take one piece. And you throw it on. Then you take another one and and then you take another one and and you're just gonna keep taking another one and another one and another one. Basically you're gonna cook the pack so we're gonna just cook the f***ing pack. Here we go f***ing cooking the whole f***ing pack. Here we are cooking the pack. If you can't stand the heat, quit being a chicken and get out of my kitchen. So guys, now that we've got the chicken in the oven cooking and baking away, like a couple of doobie doobers, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get our pan ready for pork to be cooked. So we're gonna be using a smaller pan. The, we have two different size pans. We have this right here. We have that guy. Now that guy, that. Now, got this. We're gonna kill me, spade me, and obviously, and then, uh, and now, come over here, and you go. You see, you go like this, and then you ready, set, bam, you do it. You take another piece, you go, oh my god, I need another one, oh my god, bam, you do it. And then you're done, because that's all you need. And of course, now of course, we're on to the next pan. We got that one going and heating up. We're gonna get this one going. So of course, again, this time it's there's Spider-Man, it's Godzilla. You know, the 1954 where it looks like a spray can, you know, where he does the breath and it's all 
like a spray, you know, and it's all blue, it's like blue mist. I guess he couldn't stand the heat. <laughs> there we go. Then you take your meat, you take that beef that you have, maybe you and your friend have been arguing, you take your middle finger, you make it into a gun shape if you want. I like to, I like to think of it as like a hidden blade, you know, so I can go, Bleh! this. Cause that's how you do shit, baby. You open it, then you take one cube and you say, hey, I wonder if I can find a Rubik's cube. No, but you know what I can find? Steak cube. Here, kitty, kitty. Papa's got something made for you. Here, kitty, kitty. Papa's got something for you. And now that we've got our beautiful steaks on there, we are, of course, bringing the heat and bringing the beef. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get that cooking. We got everything kind of cooking right now. Everything that we cook on the stove top is gonna be cooked medium heat, all the way to being cooked. Um, obviously cook your meats how you like it, but you know, it's however you like it, but it's meat salad, baby. You already know. So we're gonna go ahead and keep working on this until they're done cooking. And the chicken's done cooking, so we can chop it up and put it in. And now, of course, that we've got all our meats put in, now that we've met all of those nice protein packed men that are in there, we're gonna go ahead, take these, this bag, just take care of it, you know, like human beings. All right, you want to make sure you keep coming back here, making sure each side is cooked. Yeah. Making sure. Make sure it all has a chance to get some cooking done to it. Ah, these right here, I need to flip real quick, so we're not actually on the sides and cook them all the way through. Oh, this is gonna be nice, guys. Oh, look at this. I'm sorry if the apartment in the background seems a little messy. We've had a very long week, so, you know, we haven't had a chance to hunker down and get a thousand percent of this done, but I like to think I do a good enough job maintaining it, all things considered. There. Now this is cooking. All you gotta do is occasionally come back and make sure you flip your meats and make sure that they are all, of course, cooking nicely. It's the crackle that you hear in the meat. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn that over. I'm gonna turn this over, kind of give everything a nice even cook. So, first thing you wanna start with your sauce is your base. Me? You have two choices. Teriyaki, barbecue. I think we're gonna go with barbecue like the classic goes. Come on. Come on. Here we go. There we go. Come on. There we go. Uh, off your top. Ah. <whistles> Spring break, baby. So you're just gonna wanna just a little bit in the bowl. You'll find you don't need a whole lot of a whole lot of sauce. You don't need a whole lot of sauce to do this. Now we gotta get our other sauce ready. Our secondary base. So of course this is barbecue. Sweet Carolina. You don't like Sweet Carolina? So one thing I think they'd be better than Michigan. So just like the American, I need you to pop your top. So there we go. Now teriyaki, surprisingly, is a sauce that you really don't need too much of. 
to make a difference in your dish. You don't need too, too much of that. Maybe just... See? There's that. Now, we need to get our peach juice. Classic jar snap. And now we gotta do is a tiny bit of it. You don't need a whole lot when you're making this. You just need enough to add some flavor to it. And sexy ladies and gentlemen, this is simply put easy enough. You're actually gonna add your seasoning in with your sauce. And again, you're not gonna need a whole lot, but it's the sauce that's gonna give this dish flavor. So, my doctor says I need more salt, so that actually helps. We'll just uh, adjust for the added. And now, guess what we get to do, ladies and gentlemen? You get to, you spin me right round, baby, light round. Like a record, baby, like a record, round, round. You spin my head right round, light round. Like a record, baby, like a record, oh yeah. But basically, you want to stir the sauce till you get a pretty good consistently. That sauce is going to be, well, guess the lady's coming to you for this meal. That's that sauce, baby. Oh man, I almost forgot to flip my meats and shit. Damn, I'm awful at this. It's almost like I'm a random dude who throws shit together, right? Uh. There we go. That's that. Let's see if the cops are done cooking. Nope. And finally, this is coming along nice. Nice white phallic shaped objects that are made of meat. Good job. Oh yeah, so. Probably turn temperature down on this a little bit. I'm gonna 380. To kind of help make sure it cooks evenly. All right, there's that. I honestly think the pork is almost done cooking, to be honest. So that might almost be ready for shredding. We have our sauce made. So of course, starting out, we need to start with Monterey Jack. Again, Jack is our good friend from the fridge who helps us. You want to get, that's going to kind of be your base cheese. This is what's going to be, what you're going to base your flavor on. It's a very bland kind of cheese, so it kind of, leaves itself quite open for improvement. And that's something I love about Monterey Jack. It just, it leaves itself like my fridge. Room for improvement. <laughs> Up next, of course, is our three state cheese. Now, they never tell you what state you get, so we don't really know what we're gonna get. I'm hoping that we get a mixture of like, Tennessee, because I, I Tennessee these bad boys. Uh, maybe Minnesota. I don't know, this, this cheese kind of feels like there's some from Georgia too. So there's our three steak cheddar, so that's well. Hey Jack, you know how you're lonely in here? You get three full states of new friends. Good night. And then finally we have some friends for Jack from a whole other country. And you know what that is? Mexico with some Mexican cheese. So here we go. We're gonna, again, you never need too much of these ingredients. So, oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Pinch more. There we go. And finally, hey, Monterey Jack, you get another friend. This time, we have four whole countries full again. So there you go. Bye. There we go. Want to make sure you get it kind of mixed up a little bit. 
and then let's check on our meat, everybody. As we kind of take you through this whole process here, you kind of want to make sure your meats cook thoroughly. You never want to eat undercooked meat. That is a very bad idea. Mr. Kirby, can you tell your wife that eating that meat is going to be a bad idea? There. Those are cooking nicely. Those are close to being just done. This is finished. The sauce is ready. I think we're almost ready for the granddaddy, finally, tout blah blah of the whole process. And now your steak should be pretty much done. Couldn't get much done to me. These should be getting close to. We'll probably check back in a minute. We're going to get these moved over to a plate. So you guys can look at me. Okay, look at me. Look at me. I am the captain now. And you know what the captain says? Let's go, baby. Now you know what the captain desires? And of course, now that you've got your steak fully cooked, we're gonna take some time to dice them up into the very bits you guys like. You know your boy loves them rare. These seem like they should be pretty much done. I'm ready to pull them off. Let's see. Use this one. You seem happiest. Let's get it diced up, just like you did steak. And after you've diced up your pork, you want to mix it all together. So at this point, two out of three of meats should be on your plate and ready and diced up. Now we're just waiting on the chicken, which I'm going to give a look. Close to done. You got about another 10 minutes on those. And then this all will be ready to mix together. And you would you look at that, not even 10 minutes-ish later, they're ready to pull off the stove or top or whatever. So we're going to be taking three pieces of this. The chicken's actually really good. And of course, we're going to dice them up. And when we come back, it'll all be ready. Again, you want to dice them up to the preferred size. So I'll get this all diced up and ready for you guys. And now at this point in time, you are ready to start finally crafting the new meat salad recipe. So first things first, you want to start with a layer of the cheese on the bowl. Right on the bottom. And you're going to grab and follow your meat, all that shredded cheese and diced pork. Oh, that looks good. And now you're gonna take your spoon and you're gonna splash it around the meat. Just like that. And then you're gonna put another layer of cheese. You do want to layer this, it'll help make it cook a little better. And then you want to... More! More meat! More meat, you s Okay, that, that was a little far. YouTube, don't hate me. Or do. I'm fatty. Put the rest of your cheese on. Rest of that. Barbie, look at that. I'm going to scrape the rest out of this bowl, and then we're going to hop this in the microwave and melt that. Now you want to microwave it long enough for the cheese to melt. I like to go with about three minutes between every minute stirring it. So we're going to get that a second while I run some hot water on my hand. Yep. A clearly microwave safe bowl. Am I right? Here we go with that first stir. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks delicious. Oh yeah. That's going to be a that's delicious moment. Back in there, bitch. Big on. Oh, man, look at this. I made a huge mess out of the countertop. And I don't even know what to do. I know. Here's that second stir, baby. Oh, 
circus geek. Circus geek. Alright. 30 seconds. Because it's the dirty 30s. And then the final part of the gourmet meat salad recipe is, of course, the tortilla shell you put on your plate to help soak up some of that excess smitty grease that you'll have in this. So now you do need a whole lot now. There's that, there's a portion. Put this in the fridge. And then we're gonna go ahead and top her off with the sides and we'll be back at the table. And finally, we need step one. We need Two. And then we're also going to need step three. Don't you forget four and five, and then six. This has been a lot of hard work today, cooking this meal for you fine ladies and gentlemen. Please, the boy feels nice. Nice and comfy. So ladies and gentlemen, of course, this is way fatty. This is kind of a gourmet meat salad. So, let me explain this dish real quick. So. You have made fresh meats, homemade. You made your own sauce, got your spices in there, got it all cooked. Why the tortilla bread? Why? It seems like a waste. You're not making a burrito out of it. You're using it as lining. These are actually burrito, these are actually burrito wraps that are slightly old. So they're just starting to stiffen up, but they're not completely gone. So they're good to use for things like this, where it's a presentation slash utility thing. So what happens here is the tortilla it's kind of soaking up kind of the excess oils and stuff that are in this. Because, you know, the sauces that have it, they do have some, like, very non-essential oils for what you're making. So, further ado, we're going to taste test the meat salad. We're going to try to get as diverse a piece as we can. Let's dig in. Actually, it's like a really good homemade version of something I know. It's not sloppy Joe Manwich. It's um pulled pork. Those like little buckets of pulled pork you get. I've made like a really good version of that with chicken, pork, and beef and beef. Hell yeah. Let's try to get some more pieces on there. Mmm. This is really good. Mm. I can't lie. My mouth is drooling more. I should take the yolks there. We're more sophisticated than that. More sophisticated in the fact that we drink sparkling water, not basic water. Oh, um, we drink Mio, not flavored water. So I'm gonna go ahead, pop this bad boy open. It's just lemon seltzer water. This is my prayer. I had seltzer water, but um, just like water captured at the source in France with lemon. So it's like just it's just nice, nice water, you know. I love these beer mugs. So if you're wondering the specific water I'm using, this is the Pereer Lemon. Something super fancy, it's just some water, you know? And we got some black cherry kiwi, or not black cherry kiwi, black 
cherry uh, mio that I go ahead and toss in. Ooh, that was an interesting reaction. What happens if I does that cause the other reaction? A little bit more, I think we should be fine. Remember, stood, not shaken. If I find out my is shaking, I'm gonna be so stirred up, that's not gonna be funny. There we go, we got our drink. Let's. I know it's not orange peel, but. I, I, f it. I guess it's just gonna be in the drink. I'm gonna eat the rest of them then instead of wasting this. I'm just gonna swallow the other one. Ready? No match. I'm just trying to use you to position it right. Swallow half a peach. The ladies need to step up the game. It's one of those guys, too. And everyone needs to step up their game, really. And devouring half a peach, no problem. So, real quickly, I want to eat this meal with you guys, kind of review it, and talk to you guys. First off, peaches were really good, really good side option for us. That was really good. So, this meat salad is really nice. Just from the bites I've had so far, I ate some of the fruit, kind of cleansed the palate earlier. We're gonna go ahead and take one more bite before we judge this and we take and chug this and there's a whole lot of this and this in there, right? So we're gonna... Ooh, that looks like a good bite. Oh. Beautiful that is, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna, we're gonna smash this. You ready? Mm. <laughs> mm. Maybe a little bit more show. No, it's not show. I'm disappointed, but I'm happy. I'm disappointed, but I'm surprised. Disappointed and impressed. It's, it's disappointingly good. It's not bad. I rate this a solid eight out of 10. It is definitely a lot better than my original recipe. It's a lot more healthier, I think. I mean, pretty sure I'm triggering a bunch of vegans right now, but not to rip on the vegans, of course, but like, you know what we're talking about when we say the vegans. We're not talking about the decent ones now. Use your head. I'm sorry. Every time I take one bite, Oh my god. It's like sex. You have it once and you gotta have it again and again and again. And you're left craving more. how a man was supposed to eat meat with their mouth like this. Mm. Mm. It was supposed to be messy. Oh. Mm. 
That is so amazing. The only thing that amazes us Yeah, I didn't even need to grow a beard. Yay! <laughs> Dear God, that was just so. That was just so good. I want to make out this tortilla. news we have the strip to drink I'm gonna give her a quick stir we're gonna eat the peach slice out of it Peach tastes so weird. I'm almost afraid to drink it. But the paracotins, we passed the rim of coast. Oh no. And if you give that reference to the song that you rock, because that song is awesome, bro. Down cranberry sprite. This whole meal all together. What do you think, Tummy? Did you enjoy yourself? What did you think of the food? He says that he likes the food, tastes amazing, it's gonna digest nicely. Oh, and now it just wants to go take a massive poop. I wonder if it'll smell like the meal. Holy crap. The only thing that I'll class is that is the new shirt designs. Check those out, by the way, guys. I have some designs I actually really want to fucking like. Oh my god. That fatty Zilla. I need a plush of it. Someone hooked me up with Adam Nauts, um, guy. Oof. Water is f***ing making my tummy rumble. But yeah. Hmm. Not bad. I think the whole meal... My stomach says it gets a rumbly happy tummy out of 10. I give it, finally, a shirtless cooking video out of 10. But if you guys want to see more of me, be it you want to see me live, or you want to, you want to see me do some cameos for you, where you can have me do really anything you'd like, um, or even, you know, check out the Instagram. We do stuff there the Facebook, the Twitter, all those beautiful links will be down below. If you want to know where to get some nice threads, and some of the only threads that I'll probably wear, 
Actually, that's not true. All of our other threads do, but like. Anyhow, like, besides the point. Hashtag go check it out. For real. That store is nice. Check out the links. And, um. I want to wish you guys a good day. I want to, I guess, close off my say congratulations. That's 2020. You guys uh, made it through. And you're doing it during one of the hardest times. So keep strong, guys. This has been your boy yourself, Eddie. Um, keep an eye out. We got more content coming out for you guys. I'm really happy I had the chance to sit down and just record this. Because that was a nice meal. The drink wasn't half bad. Clean up some bitch. And as y'all already know, I'm not a very, I'm not a very clean gentleman. Anyhow, this has been your boy, Gersoff Fatty. Sunny out.